Hello gamers and welcome to this tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 5 below supermarket. So 5 below is actually a supermarket around in US or something and I'm also going to show you how to make the inside of the 5 below. And as you can see we have the counters, here have a produce section, we can add more, we have a produce section. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please do like and subscribe. And share this video with all of your friends and everyone but anyway let's begin okay now this is the amount of space that you will need to make your five below supermarket it is a 22 by 27 block area do feel free to make this if you are planning out your city like you can I recommend you like building it is which is which has your city building surrounded but a lot of prefer in a super flat world okay now these are all of these materials that you will need to make your um, five below Oops, what did I just do? Okay. Anyway, here are all these materials that you need to make your five below. Please do make sure that please do make sure that you have grabbed all of these. Okay, step one: come all the way to the front left corner of the grid. Count, count to the left, count to the right by two, one, two, then up, then inwards by eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is when where we're gonna start. Begin by placing a black concrete. Then to the left of it, place two glass panes. One, two. Then a black concrete. Then two, two glass panes. Then a black concrete. Then a glass pane. Then gap of two. A glass pane. Then a black concrete. Then we're gonna do repeat that pattern that we did to the left. So this, which will be the black concrete, two glass. Oops black concrete two glass and a black concrete which will make a gap of three on the right and now we have to do the same so it, it, we have to have we need to have five windows in total which will be this will be the first window second window third window fourth window and then a fifth window and as you can see one two three four five perfect it will also leave a gap of 3 everywhere it will leave a gap of 3 and extend all the way to the right and we should we should see that it should line up with the front from where we started in which we have to copy the exact same of what we did to the, to the opposite side it will be this I think I think you guys know the patterns more easier to see here also to see that the front there you go now we extend all these windows up by two, one, two, one, two, and then a black concrete, and then one, two, like this. So good. Even the black concrete as well as I mentioned. And then we're going to do the same to all of the windows. Oh, and by the way. It will be more easier if we do the black concrete first because placing glass without the black concrete is harder. So it will be easier, more easier to place it from the sides. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, what am I doing? So the controls were better than that. Okay, then here and here and here. There we go. Now we can place the glass panes easily. Okay, now that we have done all the windows and we extended it, on top of all the black concretes and the windows, we are going to place four light blue concretes going up. One, two, three, four. 
then we join it all the way oh we actually missed we missed the glass sorry guys my bad we just have to do this one single final remaining i didn't know that there was one it was not filled in so finally there we go what guys we 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 were like just have to extend these it, it's not going to be just on the front it's also going to be on all the sides and it will it will be left back and right there okay. again we missed one gosh why do i have to keep forgetting things it's easier to forget things even if you are doing trying to do some do some city builds then even for other other activities okay we're going to do this all the way to the sides and we have to and we have to connect it to the front now this is where the sign is going to be here which will have five below above the entrance and after that we are just going to do some filling and put some lights because it's going to be darker like if you like filling the roof yeah you're just going to finish this first hopefully this doesn't take so long than i have ever expected let's just finish doing this good okay nice then fill in the roof in using light blue concrete Okay, now that we have filled in the roof, we are now going to add some sea lanterns. Now it's going to leave a gap of three, then destroy sea lanterns. This time it's a gap of two sea lanterns, gap of two sea lanterns, gap of two sea lanterns. Then you have your gap of three. Oh, what does it say? Okay, you know how about we like? Okay, guys, sorry. We are supposed to leave a gap of two, not one, like this. Now you can see it's it's centered. It's like leaving gap of two. Even it's like liner with even with the black concrete on the sides, like as you can see. Yep, there we go. And now we're just going to do the same, like this. We just have to leave a gap of two. Oops, sorry. Just have to do this. Oops. Good. Then we just have to do this, and here, even if you leave a gap of two on the horizontal line, like this, that's nice. Oh, you you can we let we should add 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 additional line of sea lanterns. Nice. Oops. Good. Good. Now we are going to fill the floor in. Meaning, we just have to replace it with grass. We have to replace from grass to a flooring material of choice. I'll pref I'll use white concrete as a floor material because it's such a lightest color and bright.
okay now that we have done the floor where do we should replace the graph replace the grass underneath the windows into black concrete because it's so weird to have grass instead of instead of black concrete yeah let's just do this quickly and then we can do the banners which is one of my personal favorite like this when the entrance is where well, we should we should fill it in okay perfect as you can see black and white they contrast better with the color schemes and anyways now that we have done we are now going to make the banners okay so drop down the loom and let's make them first we're going to make f so it will be horizontal row of white dye on the left which makes it white pale dexter then put the new banner in then add a horizontal row of white dye on the top which gives it white sheaf fess then a horizontal row of white dye in the middle which gives it white fess there you have f next is i very simple it's just a vertical row straight up the middle there you go now next will be v which will be horizontal row oops okay so it looks like i have to make a new letter sorry about that first we have to make a vertical row of white dye straight up the left there we take it down then remove the white dye place light blue dye in then place a, a triangle right slanting i don't know what to call it then remove the light blue dye replace it to white dye x add a slanting row of white dye from bottom to top which gives it v the next letter is e horizontal row of white dye on top white sheet fess a horizontal row of white dye on the bottom white base fess a, a horizontal row of white dye straight up the middle which is white fess yep correct i am finally and we have a vertical row of some um, white dye straight up to the left yep. e i think we are running out of room here how about we like just remove all of these there we go let's just do this there you go now next we have b so a horizontal row of white dye on white dye on top horizontal row of white dye on the bottom horizontal row of white dye on the middle on a vertical row of white dye on the left and to the right which will give you b now next would be e but we have to make l to, if you would have made two in survival which will be very simple vertical row of white dye to the left and then a horizontal row of white dye straight up at the bottom which gives it l next is o a horizontal row of white dye, white dye on top a horizontal a vertical row of white dye to the right to the left and a horizontal row of white dye on the bottom which is o now final letter is w we, we have to add like a triangle like white dye which gives it like this and remove the white dye put light blue in add like a steep of it remove the light blue dye remove the white put white dye in extend so what do you call uh, make white dye straight up the left and then uh, we have a vertical row of white dye straight up the right which gives a w yeah five blow <laughs> not a set not that one we have unless you have a e here now the sign is going to be placed here gap of tree f i b e space b e l o w we 
now have five below and I would say that I think it's good yeah it's definitely looking perfect now we can destroy the loom and we can carry up carry on now next thing we're going to make some finishing touches on the outside of five below okay now first we have to add some pathways pathways oh I literally forgot the smooth stone how should I forget it there we go now the smooth stone is going to extend from in front of windows in, in front of the windows and it's going to be two rows of it like this just now to extend these okay and the smooth stone is going to come all the way in from the entrance way here yeah, it's going to lead all the way from the front part of your grid to the entrance way it is looking perfect oops what am i doing there we go hmm. oh and we also have to like replace two rows of smooth stone then let's first like remove the white concrete that we have for the grid like this then we, we destroyed this grass there we go now we can fill it in using smooth stone it's going to go all the way around the path part sorry around the building build or some or whatever you want to call Notice that there was a grass here. Okay. Just have to fill these in using smooth stone. Perfect. And now next, we are going to add some add an, add leaves, a hedge. We're going to go all the way around the sides of the building, like this. There we go. Now we have this white concrete here. We don't need to destroy this white concrete for the grid. Here, three rows of grey concrete, then a white, three rows of grey, and then a white. And which we have to extend all these. Okay, just have to do these. And then we replace it, we fill in using grey concrete, and we split in using white concrete. And we are also going to do the same to the right. Perfect. And now we can focus on the inside of our five below. Now I'm going to grab all of the inside materials and then we can move on and I'll also get rid of the numbers as well. Okay, now I've grabbed all of the inside materials 
in which you can see these are already inside materials so pause the video and do please take your time grab all of these and once you did and once you did that we can begin step 1 begin on working working on the inside sorry i mean going in the inside and as you can see i have done more torches to keep it more lit up then we are going to add some counters so the counter will just line up with the black concrete in between the windows which looks like this oops not here sorry here where it's going to be and then we'll place black concrete how about even more we should leave a gap of one as elena smooth coat stairs then three black concrete then extend to the left by one this is how it should look like in which we have to place gray carpet and it should leave a gap of one and an end door and a beacon we are also going to use this as the entrance decoration like this okay you want to keep some more we need to keep the place more bright which is which is perfect in which we are going to do the same and next easy because you can see its plants i think we got into some trouble over here oh no we lot we lot do some random place something randomly like this is how it should look like oops like get back to a small coasters and then a what in a small coasters oh no oh no hmm let's see if we get back one place small coasters then here and then a gap of two and then we may do the same right right like we do this um i think no or oh, no where to plan it or oh, you know you know what we rather leave it like this orders just only random yeah i think this doesn't look too bad we just have to shuffle this if we are doing this and then up put beacon destroy the raised gray carpet sorry for sorry for the trouble that i just now caused but that's okay no need to worry now that we have done this we are going to add the same as what we just did so to end draws a beacon gap of one place a stair then three black concretes all the way it is surrounding the stairs and it's as easy as that perfect and now we have to add carpets so the carpets we like just lead you like to this here to the edge but it didn't touch anything i don't want that now you can see maybe we will just have to rip out the yeah which will line up to the counter area the carpets there you go in which we leave a gap of two we place three oak wood planks And do we need a slabs? I think we need slabs. Then extend the slabs all the way until it leaves a gap of two here. Let's see by placing a oops a solid block. Oops, not here. Oh no! For that we have to add another oak wood planks. Then we have to just extend it back like this. And then the slabs. Oops. Okay, go good and slabs. So that I extend these. Then oak wood planks. Then there you go. Now all you have to do is place oak slabs. 
just in this corner so how about we extend no it isn't supposed to be in the backwards it's supposed to be here first what am i doing good let's just see how it looks okay now we just have to extend the okay nice and this is going to create a shell okay. as you can see it created a shell in which we are going to place some food items like this and item face and all sorts of foods like so in place item frames No, no need of like oak slabs. No, no, no. Oh, need we need slabs actually. Maybe if we extend, how about we extend down like this, and then we just have to remove all these. I think that looks even more better. And then we place slabs. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I think it looks perfect. In which we can place all sorts of, hmm? which you can place all sorts of food items. Or maybe it doesn't need to be that much longer. So let's make it a bit shorter, like this. I think this will look better. We just have to do this. Oops, probably a solid block, oak slabs, and then we do this. And then I think it's perfect. Then we place like oaks, a solid block, then a oak plank. There you go. And we have to do the same, but in type of a random order, which will be this pumpkin pie, bread, cookie, cake, oops, cake, dried kelp. Mushroom stew, baked potato. It will look like this. Okay, next we're going to make a produce section. So the produce section is going to be okay. The naughty. So leave a cap of one. Place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, ten. Around the surrounding the grass. Oops. What am I doing? Surrounding the glass, place screws trap doors, which will oops, look like this. So we just, just, just flip it over. We just have to flip it over like this. Oops. Okay, perfect. And on the grass, we place all kinds of flowers. All kinds of flowers, different colors, colored flowers. Why don't you destroying grass? Perfect. And we are also going to add some carpets. We just have to even even add a carpet over here in the middle, alternating white and light blue carpet between the produce section and the and the what do you call and, and the shelf good and even oh okay and even like here I think gold comes on the way with the counter so just just straight off carpet as well which looks like this how about we if we put some more carpet I think looks better yeah but yeah guys I think we are kind of done actually like we've done this entire inside of our five below now I'll clear I'll clear all these up and we'll take a closer look at the five below supermarket 
Okay now this is what your 5, five below supermarket will look like once it has been 100% fully really completed. Yep, I really hope that you guys like this one. And if you want to check out my Minecraft city based tutorial playlist, please find the link in the description below. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.